Okay, we got about ready to start the Z-axis here now. If you recall, during disassembly, uh, we raised the head so that this hole is above the, um, uh, what the hell you call this, I don't even know, back post, whatever, column. And uh, I already know that we're gonna have, this is going to be in the way during installation. So we're going to have to remove this. I'll take the screw out. You don't need this anymore anyway. This guy might be in the way too. Uh, I already loosened the screw on it and uh, uh, it, it was going off the handle in this direction here and I thought it was going to be in the way. It might still be in the way for all I know but I moved the handle over on this side by, by loosening the screw. Uh, we'll see how this thing fits. I know we're going to use these two screws that we saved, these two cap screws. And the bolt goes from the inside out. And I've already uh, uh, lowered the uh, ball screw down pretty low. I don't ever want it to come off the bottom, but. Uh, uh, you can see what I did here. You need that space to install this thing. So let's see what we can do here. I'm going to take the bolt out. Get ready to put it in the back. What the first thing I want to do is put the cap screws in first. hope I can do this because uh, i got a big lamp here. Over here. Oop. I got a lamp here. I'm in an awkward position so that I can get the camera in view. So you can see what I'm doing. Um, this is a four millimeter. Yep. So these two cap screws we saved before are four millimeter. We're gonna get them started here. I'm in an awkward position here. You can't even see what I'm doing. There we go. One in there. Get the other one in. Started. And uh, I'm looking at this. You can see it's directly in the way. So I'm going to have to Take that out. And for some reason, top cap screw bottomed out. Without getting tight. As a matter of fact, both of them, both of them did. Hmm. I don't know if they gave us hardware for this or put my bag of hardware in. Some kind of screws I got left here. I only have two screws left here. Um, could be. But they look like five. These look like five millimeter, not four. Let's see. No, these are definitely five. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Is it five or six? I don't know why that bottomed out like that, but you know what? I'm going to get the bolt in the back and then I can mess with the screw. <laughs> I got so much light in my eyes here. You know what I do for you guys? Sacrifices I make. Alright, I'll get this big cap screw in the back here first to get started. And then I gotta figure out what's going on with those other two cap screws. Why we're not uh, bottoming out. Obviously they're too long. Well, they didn't tap the holes deep enough on this one. 
absolutely do not have any other hardware. I've got these two cap screws here, which I look think are even longer. Uh, let me see. Why can't things ever be easy? Yeah, it definitely bottomed out and it's loose. Loosey goosey, we don't want it loose. Let's see what we can do here. I don't have any. I got very limited amount of metric cap screws in my stash of stuff. So if I had to, I'd have to run off to the hardware store to get a shorter cap screw. Or I can stack it with washers if I can fit the washers in the hole here. I'll be back. Okay. I had to uh, stack some washers, some lock washers on the back of those two screws. When I'm over in the hardware store, I'll buy some shorter ones, but uh, I use some number 10 uh, lock washers. Stacked up about four of them on each screw to get this thing tightened down. Uh, so now I, I just need to uh, put the Allen bolt in, which by the way is 10 millimeter. You need a, a 10 millimeter Allen to tighten it up from within here. This is a tight area. Hopefully, I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing this now. Hopefully, I can get most of it finger tight first. So I doubt you could even get a maybe a quarter of a turn at a time. I can't even fit the wrench in, let alone turn it. Uh, so, man, how am I gonna? Get, might have to cut the wrench shorter. The bend is too much to get in there. Uh, the key won't bend. Isn't that great? Move the camera a little bit here. You can see what I'm talking about here. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. No. Uh, what the hell am I looking at? Right there. See the head right here. Can't get this in here. Won't fit. Can't get it in the head. So I'll have to go hunt, off and hunting again. See if I got, uh, well, I, I got a ball driver, but at that angle, I doubt very seriously I'd be able to. No, not going to be able to do it. Um, uh, if I raise the head, that's not going to do me any good. The, the absolute problem is the length of this key. Let me see if I got anything. No, I don't. I'm sorry if I got anything shorter, but I don't. I'm sure. I got a 10 bull head here, but there ain't no way in hell. So, I'm at a standstill again here. <laughs> Unbelievable. I gotta go cut my Allen key here. Cut it off. See how by how much. Quite a bit. And even then, it's gonna be close to the uh, bend, the curve. So, I'll get back to you. Fun and games. Alright, let's go cut an Allen key. A perfectly good Allen key to get this uh, kit in. Thank God these things are cheap. I don't have much left on my cutoff wheel here, but luckily I've got some extras. Well, I'm back, and uh, probably best that you didn't uh, 
watch that whole video when I was cutting this thing here because you would have heard uh, a lot of nasty language coming out of my mouth. Anyway, I got this thing in here. Why the hell they didn't use a hex head in here, I don't know. Probably because probably it wouldn't fit, I guess. Uh, I'm looking at the machining of this boss here, or whatever you want to call it. I'm still not able to get... I mean, I can get a half a turn out of it. The box here is preventing me from... Hey, 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 hey. Not a place to put a cap screw. Unbelievable. I could have put a bolt straight through, recessed it into the aluminum. I put a nut on this side. I think a nut would have fit in there. See, once I get into this corner, it gets me trapped in there. Oh, brother. I can't see what I'm doing either. I got that light. I got a light in my face over there. I got a flashlight around here. I had like a thirty second of an inch. I could probably pull it off, but if I don't have to take this box off, it's just a Tighten a damn bolt here. Can I get in there? Get in there. Just needs like a tiny bit. I can just rotate it just a little bit. And then I can get the wrench on for another revolution. Let's see, that do it. I haven't heard anybody complain about this. I'm wondering. Oh, you know what? I could probably lift it up a little bit more, and I can then I can get the wrench. This box won't be in the way like it is right now. Let's see if we can do that without without having a whole thing crash to the ground here. Get it up just a maybe another inch. Oop. Went down, not up. There you go. It's up. Oops. I think it's a little higher now. Let's see. I'm gonna get this thing in here. I gotta get up a little bit more. I gotta get back to you because, uh, okay, I got it now. So, I'm kind of dark for you to see. I'm gonna get a light here. Not that you're interested in watching me uh, screw a bolt in, but you might have the same problem. I had to get it up uh, considerably more than I had it before. Yeah, are you looking into that cavity? You are. Okay. And uh, now I can get onto it and, and, wrap, and really tighten it up. Okay. Man. All right, let's move on and see what else we can do here. Uh, 
probably shouldn't have tightened it that anyway, uh, just yet until I got the motor on and everything, but uh, we'll see what happens. Now we're going to lower the head. And uh, screw this, screw it down till it rests on the shoulder here, and then we've got some holes we got to drill. Well, let's see what we need to do here. Get this light out of here. Let the head come all the way down. I'll get back to you when the head's down. Well, this is snafu number two here. I want to lower the head, and as soon as the head, let me see if I get the camera on it. See this washer they put on the back of that bolt? That cap screw or bolt? That washer is hitting the uh, post here, and it won't let it go down any further than that. So now I gotta remove the bolt, take the damn washer off because uh, it's interfering with the uh, post and uh, put the cap screw back in. Don't you love it? Get back to you. Okay, so I'm back. And uh, I gotta warn you guys, when it came to uh, putting this on, I'll show you in a minute when, once I get done tapping this hole here. I've already drilled the holes for this. I marked them off, drilled the holes, and now I'm tapping them. They're M61. A lot of guys just use the nuts, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna show you in a little while why it might be hard to use the nuts, but let me get this. Let me get these holes tapped, and I'll uh, once again I'll get you back. I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm back. I got the screws in. I tapped. Uh, I got this thing in alignment. Holy vey! I gotta tell you, you better uh, you better count on lifting this head once, twice, maybe three times until you finally get it aligned, but you need to get it aligned straight with the rear column in this direction, and then from the front, equidistant from the column in this direction, and then you're probably still not done, because until you drive this head and this ball lock up close to... Um, uh, this, whatever it is, I don't know what you would call this, but uh, where the stepper motor is, once you drive this close, you know, up close to uh, where the uh, stepper motor is, you're going to see all the, um, how would you say, the, uh, the tolerances build up, and you might have some binding because this might get thrown out of alignment, the, the, the uh, screw itself. Um, that that remains to be seen. Now, I tap my holes. A lot of guys use the nuts. I guess that's okay, but here's the deal with the nuts. The holes that you're going to drill... Let me pull this around so I can... Oh. You see on the column, inside the column there, some of the holes are right on the edge. If you can see that, I get worse here with this light every time I try to move it. Right on the edge of the column there. Now I'm out of focus. <laughs> Just bear with me here. Just bear with me. Get this damn light. Well, I hope you can see that, but the, there's an edge here. Uh, you know, the way the, the column is shaped, 
and these two these two went through solid material all the way through and uh, even with all this light I got terrible lighting here what's going on here all right well anyway the th these two here went through solid material all the way these two just caught the edge now I could probably just put uh, I could put the nuts on there too if I wanted to, but it's really unnecessary on mine because I did tap them. Uh, if you don't tap them, then you got to use the nuts, so, you know. But it is hard drilling in this area, by the way, because it's right on the edge of that. And I did break one bit at least going through that. So just a little word of caution. And I'm gonna put my uh, infamous. Uh, coupler on my uh, drill driver there and I'm going to drive this thing up and down. We'll see how it works. No wonder it was so dark. Something uh, uh, something changed on my camera settings when I was shooting. Uh, when I was trying to shoot back here, remember? Uh, showing you that edge here. Anyway, I hate to repeat myself here. I got my uh, coupler uh, hooked up. Let's take a look at what we got here. And up she goes. And we look good. And that's uh, down to the bottom now. Just hit bottom. Okay. Now, one one thing I want to comment on. Maybe I commented on before. Uh, first off, I'm Catholic, not Jewish. So when I say "oy vey," then you know I'm really aggravated. It brings the Jewishness out in me, and I'm not Jewish anyway. Uh, took less time to do the z-axis uh, than it did the x-axis, to tell you the truth, uh, or the x and y, but. Um, Here's the deal with these couplers. I'm not a mechanical engineer, but I am an engineer. I'm an electrical engineer, and I've been around mechanical stuff, you know, most of my life. Okay, I'm pretty mechanically inclined, and on the job, I was, uh, I had to from time to time get involved in, you know, in the uh, mechanical side of uh, uh, projects that we were on. Uh, having said that. Uh, these couplers suck, okay? It's intuitively obvious to me now that I made a mistake. I uh, cheaped out and uh, ordered these couplers. I ordered the, the best I could with the, uh, the ball locks, you know, preloaded, uh, hand-selected ball bearings and all that to get zero uh, lash. Uh, but it makes no sense to do that if you're going to use rubber couplings. And so I'm probably going to pull these couplings out of here uh, and order. Well, I'll look at their website first and see what, what they're talking about, their zero backlash uh, couplings. But um, uh, these couplings are not going to do it. They're just not going to do it. So that's just my opinion. Maybe you guys, uh, you know, uh, you know some, it depends on what you're going to do, too, I guess. But that's my last word on this. So we're done with the mechanical here. So all I need to do now is uh, start the electronics. I already have the power supply. Uh, I don't have a box to put the stuff in, but I have the power supply and I've got the uh, servo drivers and I've got some Molex connectors and some other stuff. So that shouldn't be much of a problem for me to get that together. And so I'll be back with that later. This is... Um the last of it, by the way, I, I forgot to, you know, stall the motor, but you've seen all that before. I did have to cut the shaft again by about an eighth of an inch uh, to get it on the love joys. And make sure that this coupler, oops, put it in here already, but I rotated the shaft. I've got to make sure that I put it back on the flat of my motor shaft. And I can't get it out of here because the set screw is
Jawohl.